Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Jr. here, and welcome back to more of the forest. And before I begin this episode, what on earth is with all the blue everywhere? I have no idea, I just loaded into the game just then, and everything has a weird blue tint to it. It's almost like the fog is kind of messing up a little bit here. It looks very interesting, I'm not sure if it's going to come up in the recording or not, but... Wow. Okay, so in the previous episode, where we finished off, we had just built a platform and everything, so we could look at the amazing sunset, which I admit look kind of pretty. By the way, this might be a bug. I'm not too sure if the bug's actually going to stay here. I can try changing the color grading. I believe that might change some of the lighting. I, I highly doubt that I'll actually do anything, but that I could try changing that to maybe, I don't know, get it to fix itself. Let's just go with a... Well, let's just go with this random one and see if this actually fixes it. It seems like, yes, okay. Now we can go back to the original color, which should be hopefully fixed. There we go. Okay, so the weird blueness is gone away now. So yeah, we built this platform so we can see up as the sun rises, even though it is a cloudy day this morning. I don't know what we should focus on. Oh, do you guys want me to build a houseboat? I also want to build a few other things. Apparently the bow isn't as effective as I thought it would be. A lot of people have been saying that the boat is actually really, really bad. Uh, so I don't know if I'll actually be building that. I could build it just to demonstrate how it works. Uh, that, that could be plausible. Let me just see if I can actually combine that in my inventory right now whilst we're kind of safe here. So if I go rope... Oh, I just realized it doesn't... It says it can be used for crafting, but it doesn't have the click R to place in thing thing, which normally it does do with uh, a lot of things. See, that says R to combine. But um, what about the other stuff that doesn't say that then? Like um, the teeth. Okay, right clicking the teeth doesn't work. I, I, I thought maybe, just maybe that would work. Uh, a stick and a rope, I guess that's not how you make a bow. I'm, I'm actually not too sure how you would actually make a bow. I knew it involved rope and a stick. I am pretty sure it involved something else. Oh, and maybe a cloth. But wouldn't that just make a torch? Hang on, because we can remove that and yeah, still make the torch. So yeah, it's not, it's definitely not uh, how I was thinking. Um, I can't remember how to make it, so I might not be making this episode anyways, because I can't clearly remember how to make a bow. But it's not exactly a big deal, because like I said before, apparently it's not too great of a thing to build anyways. So, we might try building a few other things. And also, the game will be updating in 8 days time, so I thought I should ask you guys, what do you think the game will be updating with? Wow, apparently that needs 15 rope to make just the houseboat. That's actually quite quite a large amount. So what can we? What else can we build here today? I know a lot of it's going to require a lot of wood. So, I mean, okay, let's have a look here. We'll just go through, we'll, we'll go through the pages here to see what we have. So we have the shelters, log cabins, blah blah. blah we've already built that. The stick holder. I don't know what these would be. It's really hard to read. It's far too blurred out for me to tell what that actually is. Uh, we've built all this stuff before. The stairs and platform. We've now built them as well. So many pages of custom buildings. I think these will be really cool to see. Once actually added. A stick marker, kind of a pointless thing. I guess it's just to represent the, the fact that you've been there. Uh, the traps, uh, we've built these before. I'm not sure if I'll build them again. Uh, the rabbit cages, we can't really catch rabbits, so that's pointless. We have a raft and a houseboat. I don't think the raft works anymore. As far as I can remember, last time I built one, it kind of just bounced around, and that's all it really did. So you can start building a houseboat, I guess, to see what that would be like. So we'll do that on the coastline, close to where we live. That way it's a little bit easier for us to just travel over there and deposit the resources as we go. That, and we can do a little bit of exploring today as well, actually. Now let me just kill you here before you a lovely skin. And what am I lighting up? What? <laughs> okay, that's the second bug of the episode. That's them over there. Hello, don't see me. I believe that's where they were standing last time, actually, when I snuck over to the house. But I, I think I could be com uh, completely wrong. There's three of them there, though. So yeah, I'll be building the raft probably somewhere down here on this ocean. That way I can quickly travel across the water if need be. Where'd they go? Did they just disappear? Hello? What? Okay, I'm, I'm confused. They were over there, then next thing you know, they're, they're gone now. So unless they just creeped off, maybe. Uh, oh well, the biggie. So yeah, down here is where I'll consider building the house, but hopefully it can travel across water. 
I, I know that seems like such a silly thing to say if, if it's actually going to be a house, but I'm hoping the boat part of it means that it has enabled, um, you know, the ability to move across bodies of water. So what I'll do is I will place it down the ocean down here and just hope that it will work for me. It's placing underwater, which I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Maybe I have to place it on the land and push it into the water, uh, I guess, like you do with some things. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll build it in the way that we can easily get inside of it. So yeah, we'll build it like this. And I'm hoping that when we start building it, it'll actually go into the, um, like, it'll float off in the ocean. So 48 logs to build one houseboat. It doesn't really mention any of the other things you require, so... We'll just get the 48 logs and see how we go with that. We can make the explosives, by the way, as well, which I think would be kind of cool. But first things first, I guess we better have some breakfast for the morning, and then we'll go out log hunting, which should be fun. Well, actually, log hunting's not really fun, but the results will be pretty damn awesome, I, I have to say. So I don't know where those other guys went. I'm pretty sure they just walked back to their house, which isn't too big of a deal. We could go over to the plane to grab more explosives. And even back to the hut, actually, to grab the rope now that we've reloaded into the game. Uh, so grabbing both the hut and... Uh, so not, not the hut, <laughs> grabbing a little bit of more rope and explosives might be pretty uh, pretty handy to handy to do. Uh, let's throw you on the fire here, let, let you cook nicely, and then we'll go off and start grabbing some logs. We have one log here, but I'll, I'll just save that log for another, another thing. Just in case I ever need to build anything at my house, we can do so. Ah, oh, very peaceful morning so far. We haven't been attacked within the first five minutes, which is lovely. I still could never figure out what that flying thing was that went through the trees um, the, in the last episode. That kind of creeped me out because I've, I have no idea what it was. Uh, a lot of you guys are saying it could be why the creepy music is playing here, uh, which might make sense. Or maybe it's some... I don't think this game would have ghost-like elements. It seems a little bit far-fetched for this game. Like, I can understand cannibals on an, on an island and everything, but I don't think ghosts would be the way the game developers would go, so it could be a bug. I'm guessing it may have been a bird, I just may have been overreacting, so I'm... No, I'm not too sure. It, it seems a little weird, but, you know, it could just be me going all weird about something that's not even a real thing. But nonetheless, we'll chop down some trees. This is a perfect bunch of trees here to detonate. Wait, we need alcohol. Ah, uh, okay. I think I... Thanks, game. You, you always love to spit on my day. Um, if I go down over here... Oh, berries. No, they're, they're not the good ones. Um, just down the coast here, I believe, there is a few suitcases. And inside those suitcases have the chance of being a... Some alcohol. Which we can then use to make us a bomb. Which I would much prefer to knock down three trees at once instead of just one tree every few minutes. And plus the AI don't really come over here too often. Which, you know, it is okay, I guess. I think they do patrol over here, they just don't have any huts over here. Which makes it a little bit easier on us. Uh, so just down the hill here, I believe, that's where the boat and everything was, so it should be where the, um, where the suitcases are. I see something up the coast there, I'm not too sure what that is. Right on the beach line, it could be them, but it does it's a bit too far away to tell right now. So where are the suitcases? Here they are, I think. Uh, I can't tell what they are. I'm looking at what those two things are. Um, I can't be too sure. There should be suitcases here. I thought I just saw a bunny rabbit riding a um, an enemy then. Uh, a, a lizard, not an enemy. Um, I thought there were suitcases. Oh, they're over here. Here they are. I, I knew they were down here. I just couldn't be too sure where exactly they were. So if I'm lucky, I might find some alcohol in these, which then allow me to make the bombs. And we got a tennis wall, typically. <laughs> I remember reading, um, because people have came up with stories of, of their, like, I guess, adventures into this game, and I remember reading a story about some guy who was building a house, and he came across a pile of these and found a tennis ball, so he decided to throw the tennis ball away, thinking, you know, it was kind of pointless and everything, and next thing you know, the tennis ball comes flying back at him, and he couldn't figure out what the hell had happened? It turns out one of the enemies of cannibals had actually thrown uh, a, a tennis ball back at him, which I thought was kind of funny. Throw that rock away, there we go. Oh no, there's alcohol here! I thought they would have been more so in the containers. <sighs> That's kind of pointless. I guess they don't spawn in that. I guess they just spawn next to them. Let me just double check here. 
Oh, well, at least we're getting medication and bandages. So, I mean, we've got that going for us as well. I forgot they spawn on the beach line. It's it's such a weird thing to see with, like, alcohol. But I, I, I guess it kind of makes sense. At the same... Uh, well, I mean, I guess bottles can just wash up on the shore. Uh, amongst everything else as well, but, um... Okay, well, we got some anyways. We have enough to make, well, at least the most amount of explosives we can anyways, unless we were to get more, um circuit boards which we don't have anyways so we won't worry too much about that so what we're going to do is we're going to detonate those detonate those few trees near the raft and let the trees fall down and then we'll just carry all logs down uh straight away it should give us easily about 12 to 15 logs i think depending on where we place the explosives anyway the group of four trees if i get if i get it just right i should be able to knock down all those trees with just one blast i think it's i think one explosive takes down one uh takes down a tree it could be two. I I can't remember completely. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's one explosive, but I, it depends on the radius I think of the blast. If it's if it's really close, then it will deal more damage. If not, it'll. If it's a little bit too far away, it'll only deal like a little teeny bit. I didn't realize this tree here was only a tree stump. I guess it means it's one of these iconic trees, maybe. I'm not too sure. I've never even noticed that before until now. Uh, so here's a group of trees, a uh, perfect amount of three to four trees here, so what we'll do is we'll grab the... So we have two circuit boards, we have a bottle of booze, and then we have... what is it, coins? Yes, perfect. Okay, remove. What we'll do is we'll put you right down here, run away, and I hope you can knock down a few trees for me. Only one? Oh, come on, don't be just one tree. Oh, really? It broke down so many more last time. That looks really weird, I guess, because of the explosion. Oh, well. Um, maybe it just damaged the other ones because it was closer to one instead of all three. But we've got five logs from that one anyways, and what we'll do is we'll blast the others uh, once we get back. So, yeah, we've now got a few logs here, which is nice. The raft isn't too far away. I wish there was some sort of conveyor system, but here I am talking about Factorio, which I am still doing videos on. I know you got a lot of you guys have been wanting uh, more episodes of that as well. I've just been working on Project Avalon as well as something in Space Engineers, and then I've got Starbound and everything as well to consider, which is quite a lot uh, on my platter, but I, I think I can handle it. It's, it's still nice to have a slight schedule going. Uh, which makes me keep everything slightly more organized. I'm still in the process of getting that all set up. It's it's a lot harder than I thought it would have been to get all the videos organized to come out at certain dates and oh, and all the recording that needs to be done too. Not to mention I have my own personal life that I have to do things for as well, which kind of interacts with, uh, sorry, conflicts with my video timings. Uh, where's the logs gone? They're down here. There's two of them. Okay, I think one more roll down over here-ish somewhere. Hard to see when you're holding logs, but I guess I'll find it eventually. No biggie. We'll just carry these two down with us now. And we'll just blow up the other other few trees. Nice. I'm really hoping you can move the houseboats. I'm pretty sure because I know with the raft you couldn't really, you know, sit in it or use it in any way. Any way. You could just kind of stand on it and it would kind of move away from where you were standing. So I'm hoping that this isn't like that. Though I fear it might be. So where is it actually putting the logs in right now? Oh, right down the bottom there? I can't really tell. It looks like it is. Yeah, I think it's putting it right down there. Okay. It's nice that the enemies are kind of leaving me alone for now. I think they must have gone back home. It is daytime, so I can understand that they're not exactly out of their comfort zone yet. We'll wait till it gets a little bit dark and then they might start showing up again. They do patrol during the day, though. Which is a, a little odd, considering they're only meant to be doing it during the night time. And as I say that, <laughs> speaking of the devil, they always seem to travel in packs of three. You seem to have one that has the iconic uh, clothing on him, I think. You see, you got one in the front that has a, I think it's a skull on a stick on his back then. You got the other ones with the arms as well. I think they're a higher, higher rank than those guys are. But they always seem to travel in packs of threes, which... Uh, it, it, there's always a lady there as well, I think, in most cases. It's always a leader... Uh, a male and then a female as well which not too sure why they do that like not too sure what their reasoning is behind the grouping that they do but i'm not one to question it okay so where did my log go i don't know where the actual last log went it could be stuck up here still somewhere but i doubt it is this the log that i chopped down really weirdly yes it is so we still got these two here to knock down 
I know it seems a little bit weird using explosives to do this, but I wanted to maximize efficiency, even though I only did cut down like one tree with that before. And we'll try to get more this time. There should be two trees, I'm hoping. Wait, is it still only one? Okay, something's gone wrong with the explosives, because now I'm not getting as much as I was beforehand. Which isn't making much sense to me, considering when I did it last time, I was getting at least, you know, three or four trees knocked down in one hit. Not one at a time, which it seems to be doing right now. Unless I'm just putting it too close to one tree and that's just screwing it up somehow. I don't think I am, though. Oh well, we'll just go back to using the axe after this any... Oh, sorry, anyways. Still need 44 logs. Well, 42. No biggie. Don't like how the water's displayed here. It's a little buggy. Um, I can't remember why that actually is. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with those rocks over there kind of popping in, popping out, and causes a weird shadows. Uh, and I think the sun is setting eventually, but it should be in time for my character to be dehydrated enough to sleep throughout the night. As long as the enemies aren't here. I, th I think as long as I'm in the house, before they show up, I'll be okay. Uh, there's logs over here. We'll grab this one. So I think once our energy gets down really low, we'll head back for the night, wait till it gets dark enough, and then we'll sleep, and then we'll continue our uh, building. Oh crap, really? Okay, this is the last thing I wanted, was for them to see me before it actually got dark, because the second they do, they're not going to go away. They're going to hang around until I'm either dead, or I scare them off somehow, and I don't really want, really want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to creep around to my house, put these logs in the log holder, and maybe just kind of wait it out until they walk past, and then go back out again. Is that... Oh, that's another log there. Okay, that's what that's what the last log went. I'll put that log in as well, actually. Yeah, we'll just run now. I think we're far away enough. So it seems like crouching is a very good way to uh, hide your visibility. Like, I know, obviously, crouching is meant to be sneaky. But it seems like they have a very short sight range when you're crouching uh because i noticed i can crouch within 20 meters of them and a lot of the times they won't notice me you can kind of just creep past them i notice also if you're crouching right in front of them or near enough in front of them and you stand up they will notice you the second you stand up so it's like you're somehow invisible to them when you're crouching but you're not when you're standing which like i say is a little weird but i'm not i don't know i don't mind the fact that i'm near invisible <laughs> When you're crouching. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to see if I can get some of these logs up here. Before having to go back to my house. I think they're still up here. They might be checking out what I'm building, actually. Where'd they go to? They have it down, down there? Hard to see. Hard to see. Okay, uh, where are my logs now? Here's one. Where are my other logs? I don't want to grab just one. Waste that time. Can't see them down there either, actually. I'm I'm just looking for the glowingness of the logs, which normally you can quite easily see. So this tree, this one here, fell that way, which means the logs have most likely rolled this way, which would explain the one that's kind of stuck over here, though it's a little bit out of place. I guess the other ones rolled all the way down, maybe? I can't tell where the other one went. It may have rolled too far. That I'm just completely oblivious to where it actually went. Uh, oh, well, we'll grab that one log, we'll head back, and we'll try to sleep for the night. We're, get, we're getting hungry as well. But we won't eat till morning because... I, I don't really like the mechanic how eating restores all your energy. I feel your energy should be a uh, kind of like a progressive restoration thing. Because eating before we're going to sleep, which is kind of what we do in real life. You know, like, um, dinner and everything like that. Uh, for that to give him energy, enough energy to stay up all night doesn't seem right to me. So uh, I think it would be kind of cool to eat food and let your energy regenerate and then, you know, sleep, but... Okay, let's um sleep now and hope for the morning. I think it's... Is it early day? Oh, it's... it's night time just begun, really? Huh, I, I guess I probably went a bit too early. Try that again. No, we've still got full energy now. God damn it. Okay, we'll eat some food, we'll wait for our energy to go down, and then we'll, um... Oh, Jesus, that's bright. 
Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll cook some of the lizard. I, I seem to be eating a lot of lizard. I don't really mind. Of course. As long as they can't see me, I should be okay. Because the second they see me, they aren't going to leave at all. But then again, I guess they are curious about the light that they see. Okay, we'll wait for the eating icon to come up. Maybe one of them is smart enough to walk around. I don't think they are. I don't think they're too smart in that, in that field. Okay, so we are safe. We are safer, anyways. I can't really... It would be nice if the fire torch did more damage than what it currently does, because right now it deals nothing. Like, compared to what the axe does, which obviously an axe, I can understand, does quite a bit of damage itself, but I wish the fire would actually have a high chance of igniting them, which it doesn't really seem to do. Like, I can swing it at them a lot, and it won't do as much as I'd like. You'd think... Because, like I said, the, the thing I expect from a fire torch is the ability to ignite enemies, which, uh, again, it doesn't seem... How are you holding like that, you idiot? <laughs> oh, well, we can't get the bird. I wonder if he's still kind of there. Yeah, I see that light. So I think there's plenty of them. Let's have a look on our little platform here, where they can't hurt us at all. Um... There's one just over there, one there as well, and there's quite a few actually. Oh! <laughs> I think they're gonna leave now actually. Thanks for visiting! See you next time! Yeah, so it seems like they, they stay around for a bit, but then once they get tired of that, they just leave. Assume they were leaving. Grab our axe out just in case. Oh, we dropped the fire stick. Does that mean we don't have it anymore? Uh, no, we still have it, but we just dropped the stick anyways. Okay. I don't think these guys are going to leave. I think they are very determined. Oh yeah, it's her. Hello. It's uh, it, it's Amy from before. Hi, Amy. I think she has a friend stuck walking up against the wall, though. I can't really tell. Oh no. Yeah, there's, there's two of them there. Is that not someone else seeing me as well? They make some weird sounds, seriously. I've been trying to figure out, in this time of playing the game... What those certain sounds mean. I think that one, the the air, oh, whatever the fuck she was doing, is a calling out sound to kind of like uh, like echo communication, I guess, slightly. They figure out where the other groups are, so they kind of reply back with the same sound. Uh, I've noticed them also using that sound to then call the others to come back, uh, which kind of is kind of cool, actually. It, it's weird that you can kind of pick up what they're saying, because uh, I'm pretty sure they make certain sounds for certain scenarios, which kind of makes sense, as you would expect. But, um... Oh no, you do see me now. Oh, well then again, I'm kind of lit up as well. Hello! Yes, I got an axe, and my axe can kick your butt. Butt kicker. <laughs> and you're dead. Um, any of you guys want to stay here as well? They all wandered off, actually. Oh, they're all over there. You see, that's where I heard them making the sound, so I guess she did call them back. Just this guy here was very observant and actually keeping an eye on me, so... I don't know. I don't even know if they have any advanced tactics. I don't think they do. I think they just have very, very simple type of communication and attacks. Which I think it makes sense for them, anyways. Oh, there's another one here now with lights. Hi, buds. There's several of you out there. What the fuck is with that guy? Hang on, he's got like a headband wrapped around his head. Do you see that? It looks so weird. It's so weird, but so cool. I want to see. I was hoping I could hit them through the wall. Oh, there, there, there he is. Come on, let's have a look. What the fuck have you done to your head? Do you have a light strapped to your face? Is that, is that seriously what you're doing? You have a light strapped to your face? That's so weird. I want to go say hello to him. And then I'll end the episode after I kill him and whatnot. So let's go say hello to the to the flashlight head. Hello, buddy. That is so weird. I'm, I'm seriously... That's, that's kind of cool, though. I love how they use what they've found in the world to... Obviously make themselves a little bit better. Actually, I can't take these all on at once. 
But we can at least do that. Well, okay, he runs off. Can I at least keep his head? Where's his head? Oh, his head's naked now. I don't like a naked head. I like this when his head was um <laughs> covered up and stuff. Oh, well. Wouldn't that be such a mechanic if, like, if you kill one of the leaders that had, like, a certain, like, facial feature? Or it was, like, a scar where his head was wrapped up in a certain piece of cloth or something? If you put that on an effigy, they would know that you killed their leader, so they'd be a little bit, maybe a little bit more aggressive. Or even a little bit more distant because you had killed their leader, and they acknowledge that via the fact that you've got his face on a stick. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, maybe it's just me, it's just being weird or anything. But anyways, uh, that's it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. It might be a little bit shorter than normal. I'm not too sure. I, I can't really see the time because my light is actually turned off. Oh, bird, give me your feathers. Oh, I feel so bad when I do that. I, I don't feel bad about killing them, but I feel bad about killing a bird. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.